Hi, welcome to Dr. Pat TV, and we are looking at piecewise functions. That's the topic we'll be covering, and I thought I'd have some fun here and play with uh, some taxes here. So we're doing math with taxes, but the worst thing I can do then is have you do some public speaking and everybody be running out the door. Okay, but it's not going to be so bad, so please bear with me. And you, It's actually a great example of piecewise functions. Okay, so hopefully you may have been experienced with taxes or not. You may have heard the different tax brackets. Basically, the idea here is that which formula we use, what percentage we use, depends on what's your income so not everybody's tax is calculated in the same way it depends on how much you you make and so when the formula changes depending on how much your income is that's what we call a piecewise function it doesn't stay the same formula the whole time so we got to break it up into pieces so let's do some examples here of what's going on here and so I'm looking at three incomes here and want to use this table to figure it out so let's look at this first one of 15375 so after I do my taxes I do some deductions and kind of things and I got a taxable income of 15375 how much do I pay how do I calculate that well the first step we've got to do is we've got to figure out which line we're using which tax bracket we're in so I look over here on the left hand side and I'm looking to figure out where the 15375 fits oh it's looking like on the second line right here 15375 fits between 8,000 and 34,000 so that's telling me I'm using 15 percent so I'm in the 15 percent tax bracket but now you got to be careful because here's what's really going on with taxes is for my first $8,375 of my taxable income, it's being taxed at 10%. It's the amount over the 8375 the amount over that I'm actually being taxed at 15%. So let's see, 15,375 minus the 8,375 gives me 7,000. So only $7,000 of my income, taxable income, is being taxed at 15%. The other amount is being taxed at 10%. So I do the 7,000 times the 0.15, get a number, and then add the 8,837.50 here. And that's my total in, uh, total tax, and so I get a total of one thousand eight hundred eight hundred eight hundred eighty seven and fifty cents, and so that's my tax for a taxable income of fifteen three seven five. Let's do another example. Forty thousand. Do I use fifteen percent for a taxable income of forty thousand? It may be, maybe not. So I first go over here to the left. I find out where does forty thousand fit? Well, it fits right here in the third line. It's between thirty four thousand and eighty two thousand. So forty thousand, I'm gonna scoot over here to the third line. Part of my income, forty thousand dollars, gives me the twenty five percent tax uh bracket. Some of my $40,000 is going to be taxed at 25%. How much of that? I pop over here, the amount over 34000 So the top $6,000 of my income, see, I've got 34000 Only the amount above 34000 is taxed. That's the difference between 40000 and 34000 is 6000 so I go over here to this 25%. I take 25% multiplying by 0.25 of the 6,000. That's the additional amount above 34,000. And then add it to this 468125 number. You see this 468125 number? That's just the tax on 34,000. So I'm calculating what's above 34,000. That's at $6,000. That's the difference between my 34 and my income. And that's multiplied by the 0.25 and then add it to the tax for all the amount before that. And when I do that, I get 6,181.25. So that's my tax for my taxable income of $40,000. So it's always doing the subtraction of seeing how much over the 34,000 do I use the 25% on. Now let's look at 44 million, which happens to be the income of some NFL commissioner. And so if 
that was no deduction and this was just purely the taxable income for that person. Uh, how would we calculate that? Well, I would first go and figure out where does 44 million fit? Mm, it's basically almost off the chart. It's a way above 370 or 373,000. So what I've got to do is I first take the difference because that's going to be a 35% tax rate. So what I've got to do is figure out how much is going to be taxed at 35%. So we take the difference, 44 million minus the 373,000. I get a number, that's like 43 million and 600 something. And then I multiply that by the 0.35 for that's the, the tax rate for there. And then add on the 108,000 because the 108,000 is basically the taxable income or the tax for all the first $373,000. And then when I do that calculation, I get a tax of 15 million. Over 15 million is going to be uh, taxed for the 44 million dollars of taxable income. And so that's basically the, the catch. So now what I'm trying to present here is this idea that when we're calculating the tax for taxable income, our first step is to figure out what's our ta uh, what's our tax rate and then once we figure out which way we're calculating then we apply the formula so let's just kind of look at that here just identify the steps for calculating tax we first have to identify which tax bracket what's our tax rate and then we calculate using that corresponding formula so for example when we had an income of 15375 and I'm looking T for tax how did we do that calculation we first took the difference between 15375 and the 8375 that's from the chart that's basically calculating how much of my income is above 8375 to be taxed at 15% we do that calculation and then we add the previous 83750 when we were doing a tax for an income of 40,000, we basically first had to take the difference, that's the amount above 34,000, that would give us 6,000. We multiplied that by 25.25 because it's a 25% tax rate. And then we add that to the previous tax that's calculated for the uh, 30, first $34,000. Okay, so those were the those ways were the ways we calculated. The key things was we didn't do it the same way. We did two different formulas. So when we put it all together, this is what a piecewise function looks like. Oh my gosh, that looks terrible if you're looking at it the first way. But basically, on the right hand side is really no different than what uh, the tax rate formula that I showed you that chart. We use this first part over here to help us determine which of the formulas to use because as functions we only want one result we can't have five different results for a taxable income of 50,000 we only want one result and so that's what we're looking over here we first have to go over here to these inequalities they help us determine which formula to use so once we figure it out which formulas then we go over here and then we use the formulas which are corresponding so let's Let's do an example. Let's say I want to find the tax for an income of 90,000. So I first go over here to the inequalities and I figure out where does 90,000 fit? Where does it fit? Oh, it fits right here. It's between 82,000 and 171,000. So I'm looking at here, I find 90,000 fits here. Then I scoot over here and I'm only using this one formula here with the 28% tax rate. So I'm only using this formula. I don't care about the other four or five formulas. I'm only using the one that corresponds to the inequality. My 90,000 fits here. Now I'm going to use that formula and that's what I do my calculation. So I'm going to plug 90,000 right there for my X. I'm going to do my calculations, take the difference so I can figure out how much of my, ta my income is going to be taxed at 28%. Crunch that out and I get a tax uh, of 18900 9,025. So that's what a piecewise function does. It's a basically two-step process. First, figure out where your number fits to, and then figure to figure out which formula we're going to use. Once you've figured out the formula you're going to use, plug your number in and calculate. But remember, the key thing to be a function means we want one result. We're only using one of those formulas. Thanks. I'm done here. Have a good day.